Peter King here at the Sportsman event in Denver, honoring Peyton Manning as the Sports Illustrated 2013 Sportsman of the Year. We're here with the man who drafted Peyton Manning, Bill Polian, formerly of the Indianapolis Colts. Bill, I got to ask you, let's go back to 1998. You had a choice. At the time, everybody said, man, what a tough choice this is. Peyton Manning, Ryan Leaf. For many different reasons, it doesn't appear to be as tough a choice right now. What was it like for you at the time? Well, as we got on through the process, as we got to March and April, it wasn't a tough choice because when you added everything up, all all the signs pointed to Peyton. Now, of course, everybody has amnesia today. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, at that time, it was a controversial choice. And, uh, and not a popular choice, actually. Ryan Leaf, who was the other player involved, was big the arm guy. Yeah, yeah, the more popular choice. And that really went all the way through until they met in a preseason game in Indianapolis. Leaf had the better game. And there were many, many people in Indianapolis saying, well, the Colts made the wrong choice. Polian made the wrong choice. They were getting ready to run me out of town. But fortunately, uh, uh, <laughs> we made the right choice. And, and uh, Peyton proved to everybody um, that. You know, he's one for the ages. I, we, we, we didn't predict that, I can tell you that. He, he did that all on his own. I will never forget a game in his rookie year in Baltimore where the Colts had a big lead late, blew it with some bad defense, and afterwards you were absolutely heartbroken. And you said, I am heartbroken for this kid. I don't know how much more he can take. Already in that year, he had lost as much as he had lost all through high school and college. Right. What was that time like? And were you ever worried that it was going to be too much for him, all the no, losing? Actually, it was a watershed. Um, as soon as we finished the prayer in the locker room. I, that day in Baltimore. That day in Baltimore. I took Marvin and he aside. And they had missed on a sight adjust that would have won the game at the very end of the game. A remarkable drive inside of a minute to take us down into a touchdown range. And I said, I don't want you to worry about this. This is never going to happen again. And I'll tell you why. Because after an off season of work together, because I know how you both work, th this will be second nature. You'll do this 50 more times before you retire. And they both said, well, thanks a lot. I think they thought I was crazy. But uh, <laughs> I just knew the kind of people that they were. And obviously, they did it more than 50 times, I guess, uh, during the course of their careers, uh, both Hall of Famers and it's just an honor to be associated with them. Bill, I got to ask you, Peyton Manning winning Sportsman of the Year. You're a guy who appreciates sports history. Arthur Ashe, Roger Bannister, Stan Musial, Don Shula, a lot of famous people have won this award. Why do you think Manning deserves this? Well, like all of those other people, and I was blessed to know Coach Shula, well and just saw him a couple weeks ago it was great to see him again um they transcend the game that they play the way they live their lives um the way they contribute to their community the way they contribute to our nation transcends the game that they play and that's really the definition of the sportsman of the year if you look at of all the people who've won it through these 60 years they transcended the game and did something for the nation that was unique. Peyton Manning certainly fits in that category.